In this tutorial, we're going to see how to use variables in Visual Basic .NET. What I have here is a very simple program. We're going to enter our name in the text box called Text First Name. All the code is going to be behind a button called BTN Submit. And then a little concatenated message saying Happy Birthday will appear in this label that currently has nothing in it. So I've already created the basic interface. Double click the button to get into the code. Right, first of all we need to declare a variable. The variable that's going to take the name that we enter in the, into the text box. So I'll add a comment here. Well, stores, oops, stores name entered in text box. So our variable declaration is dim, and then we're going to call it, let's say, first name, trying to be specific, as, and in this case, it's a string data type. Now there's nothing in the variable to begin with, so we're going to instantiate it with a starting value of nothing. Now in Visual Basic, variables always follow the same syntax. The keyword dim tells Visual Basic that we are about to dimension or declare a variable. Whatever comes next is our variable name. We can call it anything we want really, so long as we adhere to a few rules. Uh, our variable name can't be a keyword, so we couldn't have dim or string as a variable name, for example, because Visual Basic already knows those as achieving specific functions. Also, our variable names can't have spaces, so you can see I don't have a space between first and name. And our variable names can't begin with letters, uh, sorry, with numbers, although we could have a number somewhere in the middle of it or at the end of it if we wanted. Dim variable name as and then whatever data type we want. In this case, we're entering in a combination of letters, in other words, a name, so string is the most appropriate data type there. Now, equals and a double set of speech marks is a way of saying that every time the button is clicked, the variable first name is going to be reset to contain absolutely nothing. That way we're not going to get any strange effects um, happen if we were running our program for a period of time. Now we need to get our data from the text box and put it into the variable. So our comment is populate variable with data from text box. And the way we do this is to use a simple assignment statement. We put the variable on the left, followed by where do we get the data from? It's coming from a text box called textfirstname.text. Now we're going to output a little message in the label. So again an assignment statement. Put the name of the label on the left, this is where we want to display the information. And then we're going to have our concatenated message. I'm going to hard code happy birthday, comma, and then leave a space. The ampersand symbol is our concatenation symbol, a way of joining the hard coded text happy birthday with the value in the variable first name, which could change every time we uh, run the program. So now we put the name of the variable, and I'm just going to add an exclamation mark on the end of our concatenated message. Now finally, I'm going to uh, let's call this clear up loose ends ready for next input. The way I'm going to do that is by clearing the contents of the text box and putting the cursor back into the text box. Now let's run our program. Okay, the cursor is there ready to go. Let's type the name, press submit, and there's our concatenated message. The text box is cleared, the cursor is there ready to go again. So we can type another name. Oops, I asked for first name, so let's just click Fred. Happy birthday, Fred. It changes. Type in QWERTY, it's happy birthday, QWERTY, and so on. 
So a variable is a little storage container that contains one piece of data at a time. That one piece of data might be a single letter or number. It can be uh, uh, a word, multiple words, a whole page of words if you wanted it to be. But each data type has to be declared in a similar way, using dim, as, keywords, and then the name of a data type. String data type is for alphanumeric characters. Any